Hello and welcome to another episode of Double Barrel Gaming. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL, and just when you thought 2017 was far behind us, we get another opinion piece from the great minds at Engadget. The article in question is titled, The Lack of Compelling Games for the Xbox Won't Be Fixed Next Year, by Timothy J. Sapala. The question that I have for everyone watching this video, is Timothy a time traveler? I simply ask because Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg, Mike Yabara, and Major Nelson have been extremely tight-lipped about anything coming out in 2018. Here's another question for everyone listening. Did Timothy fall onto some megaton Microsoft news bomb? It's highly doubtful. Like many recent stories coming from sites like GameSpot, IGN, Kotaku, and the aforementioned Engadget, we are getting opinions instead of actual news. Opinions that are very misleading for gamers who may not know the difference between real gaming news and someone's bias towards a company. What's aggravating is that within the first few paragraphs, the article is littered with biased-minded opinions followed by childish, insulting quips. He points out how shallow this fool's first-party helpings are for Microsoft, but fails to mention how Sony's is much worse. He then proceeds to say how inconsequential the 1 million copies of PUBG in 48 hours are. The PUBG insults continue with this paragraph. The lovable, clunky work in progress isn't the type of thing that's going to hit beyond Microsoft's shooter-centric fan base. This kind of reckless journalism is plaguing the internet. I think it's safe to say that this article is clearly a hate-driven one. Making assumptions on what Microsoft has coming out in 2018 is wrong. The rantings of this hack journalist continue with insults to Rare's Sea of Thieves and Crackdown 3 by calling them cartoony and Microsoft's Big Maybe. He then says State of Decay 2's gameplay isn't the type of thing to garner mainstream success. He continues his biased-minded article with calling out the Artful Escape, Ashen, and Ori and the Will of the Wisp for being announced and not having a release date. Holy effin' cow. Calling this a double standard or moving the goalposts would be an understatement of epic proportion. I suppose that he somehow missed the last three E3s where Sony showed off at least 10 games that are still not out, all of which do not have release dates. I guess if you're Sony, you can't do anything wrong. The article finishes up like this. The company spent a year and a half trying to convince people they needed an Xbox One X with system specs alone. In the face of Nintendo's runaway success of the Switch and Sony's gigantic lineup of diverse games you can't play anywhere else, 2018 has to be the year where Microsoft starts convincing people there are other reasons to buy an Xbox One X other than power. I'm not shocked that articles like this get written. What has me perplexed, though, is that anyone in charge of the editorial department at the big gaming media outlets would allow this type of one-sided, bias-driven opinion pieces to actually get published. I guess integrity and journalistic objectivity is a thing of the past. All that I ask of anyone who reads these articles is to make your own opinions. The gaming media like IGN, Giant Bomb, Kotaku, GameSpot, and of course Engadget are a dying breed. They are literally writing these articles for clicks to keep the lights on, and that is why I refuse to link the story in the show notes. For today's Community Spotlight, I'm going to be talking about Judzilla, pronounced Judd like in Judd Nelson and Zilla like in Godzilla. He told me that many people pronounce it wrong, so I wanted to clear that up. His gaming career started as a young kid in England with the Binatone TV Master Console, which basically was a black and white Pong. He was hooked and since then has gone through all of the console generations. He's primarily a console gamer by owning a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One X. But he also has a PC gaming rig where he uses the Oculus Rift. The Xbox platform is his system of choice and his favorite franchise of all time is Gears of War. His favorite genres are shooters, RPGs, and racing games. He's a big supporter of the community and loves some of YouTube's biggest podcasts like the Crossfire Podcast, Xbox Nation, RDX, 
the Multiplayer Podcast, and of course, the X Power Podcast, which everyone should check out. For his professional life, he is a full-time software dev of 20 plus years. His brother got a Sinclair ZX Spectrum when they were young, which was big in the UK. They use it to play games, but also program for it as well. It's safe to say his love of programming came from this experience. He's currently working on Windows, iOS, and AR software that uses Microsoft's HoloLens technology. In his spare time, he enjoys playing guitar, drums, piano, and also writes music. Talk about being talented. He also has a love of riding his Ducati sports bike. That's, of course, when it's not raining in England. His most anticipated games of 2018 are Sea of Thieves, Anthem, Forza Horizon 4, and he has high hopes that Halo 6 will also release in 2018. Please consider following him on Twitter, at Judzilla. I will provide a link in the show notes below. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, but also learned something from it. The only way that the big media industry is going to change is if we let them know that we do not want opinion pieces. We want real gaming news, and that you'll stop following them on Twitter and on Facebook if changes are not made. First and foremost, I just want to thank the community for the amazing support that I have received since launching this channel two months ago. If you liked today's video, please consider hitting that like button, but also subscribing to the channel. All of the likes and subs truly help grow the channel.